G'day everyone. I don't know who needs to see this. Probably no one. Um, makes complete sense that if you are leveling an alt, all you really need is some extra energy. So I decided to give Iris a go and all you really need to pass the entire campaign, at least with this character, is two item level 80 interlocking souls. So at level 13, you get 120 energy there and an item level 80 glorious journey. You can wear this at level one um, and 122 energy is absolutely enormous. It gives you pretty good res and stats and stuff as well. Um, so basically until about level 40, all I was wearing was two interlocking souls and a glorious journey, which obviously lets you have a six link main skill <clears throat> um and yeah so once you have a six link main skill you'll be one shotting almost everything in the campaign and then you can just have um some extra abilities which just uh enhance your ability to smash the entire game um get leap attack with as much extra boost as you can and you should be smashing out um, the entire game really, really quickly. Um, I don't really know what to put in any of these points. Um, however, oh, that's already got increased area. Yeah, okay. What's Mania do? <clears throat> Status effect sounds good to me. Swiftness, Thunder and Bue. Can I put something else on here? Probably not really. Because I don't have much. I'm not going to be able to activate that. No. Let's remove that. Anyway, so just get some energy and absolutely blitz the entire game. <clears throat> Has anyone else tried Iris out? She seems pretty strong. Um, I've been playing this character for about two and a half hours. And I believe I'm almost at maps. Maps is generally about level 55. So, although I am using um, pack scripts, which work with um, <clears throat> bonus experience gain... So I'm probably a couple of levels ahead of where I should be. Um, however, she's just insanely strong um, with multi-strike, extra jumps, chain lightning, just as fast as you can leap through the levels is how fast you can clear. Um, I thought there was a way of getting an even faster leap slam, however, <clears throat> I haven't been able to figure it out. When I get to max level, I want to use a two-hander and that charge. Um, yeah. Might help if I wasn't talking. I could actually focus on where I was going. I feel like it's actually down here. <clears throat> it's not. Ah, um, a dum dum. Um... Yeah, there's a charging movement ability that is with two-handers, which looks pretty sweet. I uh, saw it in someone else's, uh, in the guild, someone was using it. I'm guessing it lets you go pretty quick. Uh, Leap Slam's kind of slow. Uh, as you saw, I just got hit, <coughs> which is pretty unusual for this build. Um, but yeah, you just dominate absolutely everything. I've been hitting for about 35k for, I don't know, 15 levels. But you just... Look at this boss damage. Delicious. And you're on to the next area. <laughs> um, so level 55, without these pack scripts, you're probably just um, getting 55 as you get to maps. Uh, I might pause this and see how powerful this starter build, I guess, goes when you reach maps. 
Alrighty, I just got to maps. I'm level 59. So let's have a quick look and see if my absolute total garbage build uh, will work in uh, maps straight away. Um, I was just trying to get to that. I don't know if this will actually do anything. I wish they would change sentries to spirit makers or something, because sentries are absolute garbage. I could go with that one. Uh, we'll see how the command goes. I've uh, got a couple of points that I can just chuck in here. And skill slot vacant, who cares? Let's just see if our build can do maps. Mm, it looks okay. Pretty strong immediately. Um, you don't really need gear, which is good. Getting a bunch of keys drop. So sustain of uh, glacial abyss is no worries. Obviously the quest initially is to kill a tier one um, boss. I'm just going to change one thing. I switched off uh, leap slam because I noticed that I was actually going slower with leap slam. I'm going to change rhythm to extended duration. Since I'm spamming right click anyway, unlock the trade house, uh, tier one map complete. Pretty sweet. Uh, pretty happy with how fast this character absolutely blasted through um, the campaign. Took me about three hours to get back up to maps and level 60. Um, yeah. This makes me excited. For every 1% excess lightning res, get a 0.5% chance to use a enhanced skill. Oh, it's only up to plus 20%. I was going to say I'll just have 100 excess lightning res and have a, a huge percent chance. Um, but I'll be looking... I might look at the... Um, other builds that are out there and uh, see how we go. Interesting start to the uh, the map. Oh. It's a gimmick. Ah, kill it. Oh, he killed me. Well, ah, what a user revive token. Sightless guard. Ugh, that's pretty boring. Hopefully you can't hear that. <clears throat> Pretty decent clear, honestly, considering my gear. I guess two interlocking souls is relatively okay. Might be able to upgrade a piece of gear already. Oof. Ah, dead again. <clears throat> I don't know why I'm dying. I'm sure I've got at least 10 res. <laughs> Let's have a look after this map. We'll look at getting some base level um, gear. Probably lower my uh, loot filter down to basic to actually see the bases. Um, let's have a quick look at what we got. Uh, Blast Nova, that's not me. That gives me two. So that's an upgrade over what I had. <laughs> uh, since I didn't really have anything. Um, 
Is this Toon ES or Armor? I guess you don't really use Mind Infusion, so it's probably meant to be ES based. Oh, that's a slight increase. That's not an increase. What? The energy. I think I have to keep that other one just because the energy. Um, let's try and craft. What do we need? Our yeah, res isn't bad. Let's see what we can craft on this. Affix list. Get up to tier 5. That's pretty horrible. Um, it's got decent cold and lightning res. Tier 4 max life. Man. Okay. Regen's life, strength, dex. Tier 4 again. Uh, let's just keep that. Let's go down and enchant on. Some minion damage. We've got one. Sweet. That's a pretty big upgrade. <laughs> pretty easy upgrade. Um, can I put minion damage on my rings? I cannot. Maybe because they were too garbage. Let's lower the... Loot filter to basic so I can get some more <clears throat> base stuff. Start the next round. Uh, let's go with how many rounds is this? It's two. It's not going to actually give us anything. This is four for 14%. That's 6% chance and it's two. So that works because we only want to do. Two more tier ones to kill the plane watcher. Um, all right, let's see how we go with our brand new upgraded gear. Um, <clears throat> hitting for 77k by the looks, which is relatively decent. Um, any skills to upgrade? It's not saying that we can do the next hero trait challenge yet although we'd probably smash it honestly since we're at maps 62 just keep blasting through the map let's do this because we can that looks good to me we've got two left to go <clears throat> This one will go top left, I think. What is it? It's... Is it bosses? Yeah, that's interesting. Hopefully we get a couple of extra pages, so that'll be nice. Did I get a page? Jeez, that's two without a page. Um, it's a weapon, so I don't want it. Belt, that might be good. Growth ring, that might be good. Page of a turner. Gloves. Oh, I'll get the gloves. There we go. Wand, bow. Another page. Nice. Some shoes. Let's go up and actually kill the boss. And done. Another page, very nice. Helmet, chest. Um, that'll do us. So that was pretty good. We've got a couple of pages there. Um, the thing for the... Um, what am I trying to say? 
the palm for the league mechanic is shared across your characters. I hope I didn't just click off the legendary one there. No, I've got it there. Nice. <coughs> so that is another tier one uh, map a turn. Why did he stop taking damage there? Weird. Got another ring. Doesn't really do much. Knitting needle. That's evasion. I don't really care about evasion, I don't think. I feel like this tune's going to be an ES base. Uh, challenge the trait. Here we go. We get a new trait. We'll see how uh, this uh, goes. This video is dragging on. I was just going to make it about starting a second tune, but I don't know. I'm having fun. So, interesting to he see how quickly I can just blast through the start of maps. Hello, Ruby. What? You're too old for a bottle. Puzzle. Ah, I guess I'll go do a puzzle. Okay, one second. So we've got a new hero trait. That should make us even stronger. Uh, what do we got? Uh, one more magus. Okay, I like damage. Let's give the next one a crack. Since we've got three spirit magus now. Hit for 100k. That's pretty sweet. Mm, I'm taking a bit of damage. Yeah. Alright, I'm too distracted um, to do that. I'll be back in a bit. Alrighty, hopefully this video is not ruined. I just noticed my mic was on mute. Um, hopefully it was just when I put it down. Uh, let's go with the final of the tier ones. 6.3% chance for flame fuel to drop. Um, so it'll be interesting to see how much we can make from a, a lowly tier one map. Oh. Oh, nice. We got this as well. So we can complete the final one of these. Excellent. Um, this area is also influenced by the uh, map. So hopefully we get some reasonable loot in here. It's already hitting for 100k, which might not seem like a lot, but it's probably going to get us to level 80 or so. Oh, almost died there. That would have been bad. Got a Flame Elementium. Um, a Lonesome, whatever that is. Okay, that was actually the whole area. So let's go out. We will complete the city. So we can place that there. That's all connected. Everything's connected. I might just put this here. Just so it's a nice big area. Uh, so we're going to go in. We'll go down first. And then we'll go up to where the boss is. Let's enter the city. And complete this. So we want to go over here. And go down. Clear is pretty reasonable. Oh, we've already got two keys. Unfortunately, nothing really came out of that. Some flame dust. We're on 44% XP. Let's see how much XP we get out of the rest of this zone. I believe the XP is reasonable in here. Uh, it'll probably be a lot better later on because there is abilities that you can get that increase the XP. I mean by abilities, I mean the uh, season talent points. 
that enable you to get extra XP, which is pretty awesome. So now let's just go down here, finish clearing out this area. Um, see if the boss gives us anything good. Common fuel, again, just flame dust. Uh, this is not a tier three map, so uh, if you don't know, when you're doing tier 3 maps is when Flame Elementium can start to drop naturally. Um, so, even though I'm getting fine fuels here, um, I'm not really getting any Flame Elementium. Precious gear. Not really anything there, actually. Evasion. The cannon, that's no good to us. What have we got left? We've got two more chests to grab. As you notice, the key bar is no longer filling up. That means that um, you have enough keys to clear the entire zone. And then you just have to unlock them all and it will give us a portal to the boss. Precious Legendary, uh, Glorious Journey, <laughs> that's what I'm wearing. Um, but it's not going to be as good as what I'm wearing anyway. Uh, I think the boss spawned. Uh, I'm not sure if you saw him. Uh, <laughs> wow. <laughs> he vaporized as soon as he spawned, uh, which is quite funny. Um, yeah. So <laughs> oh, Jesus. <clears throat> Let's continue with this. I will kill the... Um, map boss, I'll do the plane watcher just so we can see how insanely hard that is. Um, then I'll probably cut until I get to tier 3 and try and do some farming. What's that? Nether Realm Resonance. I'm not sure how long I'll stick with the experience pack scripts and go straight into drop quantity. I missed a key back there, but it's only a T1 key, which costs pretty much nothing to buy anyway. All right, let's do the plane watcher, complete the basically campaign. Oh, max level of everything. What a shame. Um, skip. Don't know why that's an option, even. It should just be skip, because you can't do anything. Alrighty. Coldness Tracer, Freezing Vortex. And... Bop. He's a lot stronger than the uh, Season Boss, that's for sure. Hitting for 140k there. It's pretty decent. Oh, it almost kills me. 200Ks, nice. All right, so that is the end of my initial run to the start of maps. Um, yeah, pretty sweet. Let's just quickly hand this in and maybe craft something. I don't think I had that much um, in the way of... Hmm? I don't think they die, do they? Here we go. An ES helmet. Level 36. Why is that so low? I thought I just got that. Oh, maybe the zone was so low actually uh, it's a shame it doesn't look like I have ooh, boots awaiting boots item level 62 let's craft on um, I mean 13 percent max ES seems all right tier 4 is the max that I can get um, I want movement speed because they're boots. Uh, 
Oh, is that movement speed? No. Good res, though. Um, ugh, I didn't even look at that. 26% movement speed. Lock that. Now we're using plasticity. Spell burst. I think, don't think I really have that, so... Doesn't matter. The erosion res is quite nice. Life regen. Couple of res. Um... More ES, 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 mana, int. That's reasonable. So we just crafted some new boots. Where are they? This one. Um, what can we throw in there as well? We'll throw on some erosion res. And there we go. I probably shouldn't have spent 10 um, flame sand on that. But, I mean, it's pretty darn easy to get that sort of stuff. So, I mean, awaiting's not bad, honestly. Um, so yeah, I don't think that really does anything because the jumps don't really affect me and their evasion. So, whatever. Uh, but anyway, that's what I've got for this video. Uh, if you liked it, you know what to do. Thanks very much.